It's the kind of bottle that you would think for a moment to share. <laughs> nah. Oops. Alrighty, we do have another beer review to do, and this beer is... Black Metal IPA. That's right, this is Gaslug's Black Metal IPA. I was saving this one for my birthday. Today's my birthday, so I'm going to crack it open and have a little taste. Actually, I'm going to have a big taste of this puppy. This is an Indian Pale Ale or Hoppy Stout. You decide, no rules, no masters. This is the one that I mentioned on the BJCP style um, Homebrew Wednesday video. Um, yeah, freaking awesome. It has EBC of 60, IBUs of 666, and an alcohol content of 5.8%. So, without further ado, let's get into some Black Metal IPA. Gash said it wasn't that carved up, but it is. It's carved up quite well on the bottle. Just kept its carbonation. Let's get rid of this head. Do it again, eh? Two finger head. Yeah. Nah, great stuff. <laughs> great head. Nice and rocky. Nice colour, nice even colour. There's some big bubbles in there, but that's just from my vigorous pour, and it's, it's pretty sticky. It's looking pretty good. Aroma. Oh, you can smell that coming out. That's got, um... That's got some sea hops in it. Oh, I've got to taste it before I know exactly what it is. That has some Columbus. And Citra. Now, citra would still be a bit more on the nose. Columbus and Centennial, I'd say. Columbus and Centennial would be the hops that are in this absolutely black ass IPA. Black Metal IPA. That is extremely nice. It is it is a little bit aged, so the hop aroma um, isn't on um, isn't on the nose as much as what it would be when it's fresh, but wow, when it was fresh, it would have knocked your socks off because you smell it and then if I get the taste of it you can just Imagine what that hop burst would be like when you drank it. I think it fits into the style of an IPA. Um, or a stout. I think it fits into a, um, a GSBS style, which is a gas slug beer style um, guidelines. Personally, um, brew beer that you enjoy drinking. I think if it didn't have that robustness, um, of the stout in there because there's a little bit of chocolate taste a little bit of chocolate in there a little tiny bit of astringency but that might be from the I don't know what I'm guessing that there was carafe 3 or something like that to help darken it up so it wouldn't have been from that if it was the special because that's dehusked a little t faint taste of chocolate malt in there but there is that little a little tiny bit of, of uh, bittering in there that's, that's, that's just on the cusp of going, oh, am I hot bittering or am I astringency bittering? Um, it's not mouth puckering, so I'd say it's, it's, it's really good hot bittering. I think it just balances out really nice. It's, it's viscosity. is pretty good. It's got a great body. I like the body of it. I think if that was, if that was a thinner bodied um, beer, it wouldn't be as good. Um, because that's holding its head really well. Gash, mate, this is um, a beautiful beer. I like it. I really, really, really do like it. Um, I'd love to actually give this one a brew myself. So, um, if you got the recipe, I think I think you did mention that it's on um, Salad Dweller. Um, and if you're interested in catching up with what Gash does, uh, check out uh, SaladDweller.net. Um, it's a forum. Uh, that Gash uh, runs, he does uh, 
live broadcasts, um, uh, video casts, webcasts of uh, talking about brewing and bits and pieces and stuff like that. Um, bit of the forum going on there, just check out some recipes, ask some questions and stuff. Um, but yeah, go along and, and check that out. This is this is extremely nice. Um, very well put together. Very well put together indeed. Um, and as I said, I'd like to like to give this one a crack actually myself. I think this is the beer that Gash did his black metal um, brewing video on, or this might be its predecessor. I'm not sure. But anyway, if you want to check out um, Gash's brew techniques and and how he makes such a beautiful beer, um, go check out his video. I think it's a big one. I think it's about 30 minutes long, but it's well worth well worth a watch um, if you sit yourself down with a with a decent sized bottle of beer. Go and check out his video and uh, have a gander. That is a beautiful beer. Cheers, Gash. Thank you very much for um, getting this sent over to me. There will be some beers returning to you very, very soon. I'm going to have myself another one.